Hey everyone, I'm Laura, encouraging you to do more of what you love. And today we are going to do a quick pop-up jewelry sale. I have a ton, although I guess this isn't technically jewelry, but whatever. I have a lot of stuff here. I am just trying to move some inventory out. So we're gonna do some good pricing on these things today. If you see anything you like, please email me. Do not claim in the comments. However, I will be keeping an updated list in the comments section of what's available. But email me, jewelryetcchannel at gmail.com with the number associated with each item. A brief description too would also be helpful just so we can make extra, extra sure that you're getting what you want. All right, we're just gonna jump right into this one, starting with this. This is $5. It is Cinderella's carriage, I presume. It is a little like keychain. You could also hang these off your purse or if you have like a thick enough bracelet, you could of course wear it as a giant, wonderful charm. Rhinestones in the wheels there, it's gold tone and it's kind of like puffed. So it's, it's hollow, but it's got a little bit of dimension to it. Very, very cute, $5 for that one. All right, next up, we're just gonna do $8 on this. This is a Monet brooch. It is just made of acrylic. It's kind of translucent, if you can tell. This really pretty kind of smoky blue kind of color. And then we've got the pearl and the, the faux pearl in the center there. Bunch of rhinestones on those center petals in really good shape. Super pretty, again, this is a Monet. And it's a decent size too. We'll do $8 on this one. Eight on the Monet. Let's move into some sterling. This one is also going to be $8. This is, I believe handmade, uh, wire wrapped. There we go. Cute little heart. This is all sterling silver. It has a little, let me do it the right way. A little uh, hooky clasp. Is that what we call that? It is now. Let's see, this one is about an inch and a half, I'm sorry, two and a half inches wide. And this is pretty easy to get on and off. All wire wrapped. This is not marked, but it is tested. And it did test as sterling silver for me. So $8 for this one. Also for $8 are these little CZ studs. They do have the backs as well. They are sterling silver. And it looks like, I don't even know what kind of, oh, you know what? These kind of match another ring. Maybe I'll show these together just in case you guys like this. They kind of have like a, um, like a Morganite kind of peachy, pinky kind of color to it. And I do have a matching ring here as well so these are going to be eight this one is going to be 12 so if you're interested in this one it's 12 dollars for the ring eight dollars for the cz studs so can we get any closer i don't know that the autofocus can handle it but eight for those 12 for this one this one is a size size nine but it matches the stones kind of match the color of these other ones very, very, very similar. Super crazy, amazingly sparkly. By the way, if you're into sparkle and you like that kind of Morganite kind of color, consider this one. This is really pretty. And just so you can see it on the hand. There you go. They're pretty big, pretty big stones. They look to be like a, like a two carat each equivalent weight, if I had to take a guess. But really, really gorgeous. All right, back to another $8 one. This is a dragon. Actually, you know what? Let's do five on this one. $5 for the dragon ring. This one is currently sitting at a size seven. It is adjustable though. And it, it could be adjusted pretty easily. I'm not gonna move it because I'm afraid I'm gonna bend it out of shape. But yeah, it's currently at a size seven and it is sterling silver. I don't know if I said that or not, but sterling silver on this one. Do that guy for $8. All right, moving on to the $10. This guy is so cute. So this is sterling silver. I actually got this, I think from Tiffany. Tiffany's cool finds. I don't know if she's still doing auctions or not. I haven't seen her in a, in a bit, but this is actually boulder opal. It's a bit hard to tell in the right light. You can see there's a stripe of opal that runs down the center and then the brown is the matrix of it. But how cool is that? This is sterling silver and I'm just doing it for 10. So $10, oh, this one is a seven, I do believe, but just to make extra sure. Yep, 
right at a seven. So sorry about the camera bobbing. I keep knocking into it and I don't mean to. All right, so that one's 10 and then this one is well. Now this one is, you know what, let's do eight on this. I didn't realize that it's kind of got a little bit of misshapenness to it, if that is a word. Um, this one is also a seven and it is a little marquee cabochon little moonstone, rainbow moonstone in there with the split shank. It's just a cute little ring. We'll do eight on that one. Okay, moving right along. $12. We have this one. This is from my personal collection. I've said it a million times. We'll say it again. Uh, stones in threes and fives are something that I'm super attracted to. These are just CZs, but we've got the three that to me represent my kiddos. This one, it's a, it should be a seven. It's like slightly over a seven, but we're just going to call it a seven. Sterling silver and CZs. Very cute design. Also for 12, we'll do this one, which is another CZ ring. It's got, I think they call this like a, a journey style where you have the graduated stones in it, like graduating from the larger side down to the smaller side. Really pretty like crisscross design there. And I think this is also a seven. I have a lot of sevens in my collection because that's what I am. Yeah, size seven, or that's what I wear a lot, let's say. Super, super cute. So that's that one. All right, let's move on to $15 category, which is a steal for this one. This is a handmade ring. All these little charms are added on here. They're all wire wrapped on there with some head pins, it looks like. The ring is sterling. I've never actually tested the head pins, but they're tarnished like the rest of the ring. So I would assume that whoever made this made them all of sterling, but I do not know for certain. There's rhodolite garnet in here. This looks like a pink or cherry quartz, which is just quartz that's been color enhanced. And then we've got a freshwater pearl and then there's a little um, rose quartz kind of teardrop shape ring there. Some people call these cha-cha rings. So if you want to call it a cha-cha ring, you're more than welcome to do so. But just how romantic are those colors? I think that's really, really pretty. This one, unfortunately for me, is on a little bit the smaller side. It is right at about a six, so it doesn't fit me very well. I would say even that it is maybe even a little snugger just because the band is, is wide. This is another one that is unmarked but has been tested, just so you know. But super cute. I like that one. All right, so also in the $15 category, someone snatched this up. It is a steel deal. This is a vintage pin. It has that, if anybody knows what this is, tell me. I've been told it's a, an old uh, Unka's um, stamp before they changed their stamp, but it, but I don't know, it's got two C's in it, so that doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but it's like a hand cradling what looks like a crystal ball with two C's in the center of it. So I'm not quite sure what that stamp is, but that's on the back as long as, or as well as the sterling stamp. So this is all sterling. I do believe these are all just CZ or perhaps glass uh, little stones in there, but it is a really, really lovely piece. This one's about an inch and a quarter across. Brooch, 15. All right, also for 15, we'll do these ones. I don't think I've ever showed these before. These are gold over sterling. And then we have, again, some faux gemstones in there. I don't know if these are glass or CZ. My guess would be glass, but I'm not certain. But um, they could probably use a little bit of a polishing, but they're in good shape. No crazy wear, the class still works. And they are fun. These be fun little party party hoops. Very colorful. Ooh, as I drop one. We've got blue, red, purple, orange, and green on those. So these are going to be $15. All right, next up, we're going to do this CZ ring for 15. This thing is superb. I don't even know if this has ever been worn. It looks to be in pretty darn good shape. Maybe there's a touch of wear to it right there on the bottom, but it is fantastic. Little pave Pave. Pave set CZs on the side and then as well as the 
basket around that main CZ stone. I would say this is like roughly a two carat equivalent, give or take. So sparkly. This would be a great little engagement ring replacement if you're going somewhere where you don't want to take something expensive with you. Really gorgeous. I think this one's at an eight. Yeah, just shy of an eight. Gorgeous, gorgeous ring. Much recommend. If this fit my finger, I would keep this, but I do not wear eights. All right, we've got some vintage hammered, just some flattened out disc sterling earrings. We're gonna call these ones also for 15. Sterling silver, these ones are roughly three quarters of an inch from side to side. $15 on those. I'll show you the back really quick. There you go. All right, we'll do 15 on this pendant as well. This is Ethiopian opal and uh, plumeria flowers, I think is what they are. Ooh. Really gorgeous color and fire on that opal. Look at that. I was afraid it wouldn't show up because of the lighting, but it definitely has shown up to the party. I like it. Let's rise off of the pendant a little bit. It's good quality to that stone. There's the inside of it. We'll do $15 on that Ethiopian opal pendant. We'll do 15 on this as well. This is a big old piece of opalite, faceted. Awesomeness. There's like a little clamshell up there. It gives me mermaid vibes, which is pretty cool. There's the back side. Also sterling silver and $15 on that one as well. All right, moving up to the $18 category. Another modern design kind of ring. This one's got what I believe to be red jasper in it, although it's like really red. It's like lipstick red. I don't know how else to describe it. The shade is absolutely gorgeous. I cannot be a thousand percent sure that it's not a different type of gemstone. I mean, it's almost the color of coral, but then it has this like striation in it which makes me think Jasper, so I really don't know. I just can tell you that it is a stone of some sort. Surrounded in hammered sterling silver. Oh, I can't put it on that finger. Let me show you on this one. Again, a really cool modern design. Whoops, and we bumped the camera. This one is about eight and a half. So freaking cool. At this design, I think my sister-in-law is Engagement ring was very similar to this, but with a diamond and smaller, but like this wrapping effect going on there. All right, so 18 on that one. 18 also on this smoky quartz, oval smoky quartz ring, sterling silver, faceted gorgeousness. This is a personal collection ring. I really like this one. So it's probably a seven. Yeah, it's a seven. Size seven, smoky quartz beautifulness i'm not gonna stay on this one too long but i'm gonna show you on the finger really quick it's a decent size stone that one's pretty all right this i'm going down to 15 on this i can't believe someone hasn't snagged this already this is coffee bean jasper also known as leopard jasper in a bracelet that can go up to about a size seven or down to about a size six and maybe that's why maybe the size isn't good but the stones are very good. Look how pretty these are. And this is sterling, y'all. So $15, this is the lowest this one's been. After this, it's going up on eBay if nobody grabs this guy from this video. Oh, so good. So gorgeous. And how many stones do we have here? One, two, three. We've got seven stones on this one. Very lovely. 15 on the bracelet. All right, last... Or no, I'm sorry. Yeah, that was 15. Wait, shoot, was it? Maybe that one was supposed to be 18. It's too late. It's too late. Okay. This will do 18. <laughs> this is sapphire. Faceted sapphire, three stone, sterling silver. It's got like faux pave set metal here that's made to look like diamonds perhaps if you polish it up really good it probably would really look like it uh, but they are not it's just like mill green work 
This one is five and a half, so it's on the smaller side. Deep blue sapphires. 18 on this one. Okay. We're going to do 22 on this beautiful amethyst. This thing is very deep and nice saturated purple color. And then it's got really pretty metalwork around the sides here. The chain that it comes with is about 20 inches, which is a very nice size. This is a, it just looks like a curb link chain. I think it needs a little polishing right there, but curb link chain, also sterling. Great deal. Look at the bail on this too. The bail is so pretty. All right, grab it while you can. Okay, just a couple more here. This one is all sterling silver. I do believe it's made in Mexico. It's got a mark on the inside that's like barely there, but I think it does say in Mexico. It has been acid tested. I don't see a 925 mark in it, but I don't know if it was just never marked or if it's just faded over time because the stamp that I think says Mexico is also pretty faded. But anyway, this one is going to be 18. This is a size eight. It is a little bit of a hammered finish on the band there. Nothing crazy. It's actually, it looks like it's hammered around the back and then it smooths out in the front there. But a really cool modern design. That's a pretty fun ring. I like that one. Um, so that one's for 18. This one, this is Jade in Peridot. This is, I do believe, a size 7. We're going to do 22 on this one. Yeah, sitting at about a size 7. Beautiful shades of green, if you are a green lover. It is like the only color that I really feel is kind of neutral in its own kind of way. Goes with a lot of stuff. Really, really pretty. Peridot is, of course, your August birthstone. I don't know, is Jade a birthstone for any month? Or like one of those alternative birthstones? Let me know in the comments because I really, I don't know. I don't know. All right. Speaking of Peridot, we got one more here. This is from my personal stash. One more with Peridot and a little Labradorite there in the center. Uh, that, well, I guess it's kind of offset, really, depending on how you want to wear it. This one's probably also a size 7. I'm pretty sure it's a size 7. I'll measure it for you in two seconds. But it's got the three shanks going around. Sorry, I keep hitting this dang camera. Three bands or triple shank, if you will. Three peridot in different cuts. And then the cabochon in the center. Oh, it's an eight. Okay, I lied. But it's a little more snug, I think. Let me check it on this finger. And we'll do... I'll do 28 on this one. This is a personal collection ring. I don't know if I said that or not already, but this is one of the first rings I ever bought from a, a trade show. Yeah, I'm going to say this is more like a seven and a half than an eight. It's a bit snug on my eight finger. Like, I can't even get it all down, but it's a little loose on my seven. Although it does fit that one a little better. Yeah, we're going to go somewhere between like a seven and a quarter and seven and a half on this one. And that's what I'm going to call the size on that. Okay, enough staring at that one. Can you tell I like that one a lot? All right, we've got a couple. Oh, wait, I forgot about the thing I'm wearing. The bracelet. Let's just do this one for 20. It is inlaid. I do believe that's probably an onyx, like a black onyx inlaid in there. Uh, the only problem, and it's like a decent weight to it too. This one kind of, I was struggling doing this one with one hand, but there you go. So it kind of hooks on and off. It is slightly misshapen. You can't tell when you're wearing it though. See how smooth it is on the side of them. Kind of got a little whoop, whoop. But even so, really pretty. When you have it on there, it is roughly two and a half across on that. It's a nice thick piece of metal too. This thing's a little weighty. I don't know, I feel like that's a steel deal, but I'll let you be the judge. A couple more. This one I'm gonna do at, uh, I'll do this one at 28. That's less than I paid for this ring, but I, this is another personal collection one. I just never wear it, but it's so pretty. It's like an antique style rhodium over sterling silver. 
So it's got that extra shine to it. I do believe the stone is just glass, but it definitely looks like a teal fluorite. And then the side stones are CZs. There's north, south, east, and west side stones there. And then there's middle grain detail along that split shank on the side. Kind of, I mean, not kind of. It does have a very antique feel to it. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Love that design. Oh, and this is, again, a seven. Yeah. Size seven. All right, and the last one in the bunch. This one's adjustable. I'm going 35 on this. I think that's how much I paid for this. But I, I, it's not for me. It was for you. No one was interested. We'll just sell it back at purchase price. This one's about an eight and a half right now, but it's adjustable. Hopefully you can see there's a little gap there. This can be adjusted. It's what you might call a crawler ring because it kind of goes up the finger there. This was sold to me as Aura Quartz, but I do not know if this is actually quartz or it might be a glass with a treated backing to it to give it that sheen, the different multicolor sheen. It's kind of like a purple, a teal, and a pink, but more like metallic looking. But it's still really awesome. And this is sterling. This is solid sterling. It's a heavy piece. I did acid test it, but again, this is another one that's not marked. But here's the back of it. It's it's pretty solid. It did, again, test for me as uh, sterling. So really cool. It kind of has like a native, like an older native feel to it if the stones were different. That design, this little like leaves or feathers definitely lend itself to that feel as well as the little metal balls there. So, and it's sizable too. This one is, no pun intended, get it? This one's two inches long. So it's sizable and size and sizable and the fact that you can size it. Okay. <laughs> All right, y'all, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I re really appreciate y'all being here. Even if you don't buy something, hopefully you saw something pretty. Let me know in the comments what your favorite item was. Again, please shoot me an email if you wanna buy anything and give me a timestamp and a number and a description or a screenshot. Any of those things will help me uh, identify the item that you are looking for. The weekend's coming up. I hope you guys have an awesome weekend. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye-bye.